Today, 9th September 2022, 71 days left to end the wait for Qatar 2022. And GH Contemporaries, we've come your way once again with another analysis as far as the Black Stars is concerned as the clock ticks down to the event. Ghanaians are quite optimistic that Otuado and his boys will make a very good impression at the World Cup despite Ghana being the lowest ranked team in the tournament. Just last week when the FIFA World Cup trophy arrived in Ghana, one Pastor Same of Action Chapel commanded the trophy to go and return to Ghana for a proper celebration. But the question is, do Ghana really stand a chance of making a high finish in the tournament? You don't have a one. With Cristiano Ronaldo and Son Human puzzle solved, we can probably say we stand another good chance. These two players, without doubt, are some of the dangerous individual threats in our group, Group H. The Black Stars of Ghana find themselves in the same group with Uruguay, Portugal and South Korea. We face Portugal in our first match and all things being equal, we'll be facing 5 times by London winner Cristiano Ronaldo for the second time. The last time we faced the Portuguese star ended on a sad note for the Black Stars. It was in the 2014 World Cup in Brazil and in our last group match against Portugal, we badly needed a win to stand any chance of advancing to the knockout stage following a poor start in the tournament. But this man, Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. He ended the nation's hopes by crashing the Black Stars out with an 80th minute goal. He is the last player to score against the Black Stars in the World Cup. And eight years from that time, we have made it to the World Cup again. But coincidentally, we'll be facing Portugal again. And it is likely the five times Ballon d'Or winner Cristiano Ronaldo will feature against the Black Stars of Ghana. However, is he as fearsome as he used to be back in 2014? Clearly no. Despite his age, he was on a fantastic form last season for Manchester United. However, he hasn't had the best of starts under Eric Ten Hag at Manchester United this season. Not a single goal, not a single assist. In six appearances for the Red Devils in the English Premier League, another lackluster performance in their defeat to Real Sociedad in the Europa League at Old Trafford yesterday saw him go blank again without scoring or assisting. And at this juncture, if Otuado ever thought Ronaldo would be a threat to his quest, of leading the Black Stars to achieve a high finish in the 2022 World Cup in Qatar, then he will be probably relieved after seeing his statistics this season. Even if Ronaldo is able to pick up form before the World Cup, Otuado could also take solace in the fact that the Portuguese star was nullified by Salisu Mohamed in the match between Manchester United and Southampton two weeks ago at the St. Mary's. Of course, Cristiano Ronaldo isn't the only dangerous player in the Portuguese national team, but considering his football achievements and career records, he's the most dangerous individual threat in Group H, the group Ghana find themselves in. Tottenham Ospreys and South Korean star Son Heung-min is also facing a similar situation as Cristiano Ronaldo. The prolific left winger has also had a tough start to life in the new season. Just as I said, he's also one of the most dangerous players in our group. But at his club side, Tottenham Ospreys, he has started every single game this season but he can only boast of an assist. After seven games for the London club, he finished last season the top scorer with Mohamed Salah in the English Premier League, 23 goals each. More was expected from the South Korean captain coming into this season, only for him to endure a goal drought in his first seven games. Song Hyo Min isn't only an influential figure in the South Korean national team, he's also a consistent goal scorer for the team. In the last World Cup in 2018 in Russia, he scored two of his size three goals in the tournament and one of his goals was against Germany, the goal which confirmed Germany's exit from the 2018 World Cup. But to many Ghanaians, South Korea is the team in Group H, which the Black Stars won't find it very difficult beating compared to Uruguay and Portugal. And that, coupled with the poor goal scoring form of Song Hyo Min this season, it will be another relief to Otuado that another dangerous threat in the group, apart from Ronaldo, is also not on red hot form. My head's on straight. Meanwhile, the Black Stars of Ghana can also boast of having some world class players like Inaki Williams, Kudus Mohamed, Kamadin Suleimana, who are also threats to the competing national teams in Group H. And the whole Ghana will be looking forward to seeing Otuado and his boys make Ghana proud and achieve a high finish in the 2022 Qatar World Cup. On this note, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like the video. And don't hesitate to put your opinion in the comment section. Until we meet in our next video, it's bye for now.